Hey, welcome to the next episode of How to Make Sure You Have the Most Epic First Impression Ever. Woo! I'm excited for you because, you know, you're going to connect with a lot of ladies. So I'm going to go with body language. There's, there's so many tips, but I'm going to go body language for, for this tip. And, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated. You know, I've seen people giving out all these advanced tips that they're confusing. Oh, yeah, try and turn your body at this 45 degree angle and try to fit and keep it. It's like, dude, dude shut up. No, it, you don't have to do all this kind of stuff. There's a couple of things women are looking out for. The first one would be kind of dodgy body language so for example you know you, you ever meet someone and they're really fidgety like they're like they're like they're like picking out something or they're like always pl playing with their finger or they're fidgety that kind of makes women uncomfortable because it's like you've got this nervous energy and you have to put it somewhere now that doesn't make you a bad person but women will take that as like if you're not really really comfortable like if you haven't done the internal deep work for you to be totally at peace where you could just be totally present and still they can feel that you're not really at peace and therefore that's why you're kind of doing the fidgety thing and it kind of makes them feel a bit uncomfortable. doesn't mean you're a bad person, but if you're not really comfortable in your energy, they're not going to be comfortable in their energy. So even if you have like a little nervous tick or you're, you're one of these people that you like to change it, like leaning your weight on one leg and one leg, just stand on both legs evenly and for freaking five minutes, you can not be moving around or scratching your butt or picking your nose or, or, or whatever that stuff. Unless you're doing my social freedom exercises, then totally pick your nose. I think flowers. Yeah. Flowers? I think flowers. Flowers might be good. Yeah. All right, well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Nice You're welcome. Sorry. Yeah, right. okay. That was awesome. That, that, that was on oh, hand. So just, just be still. It's really that simple. Be still. One really good tip for that is uh, breathe. Focus on your breathing. Like, literally just... Like, if you're focusing on your, your belly getting bigger and and exhaling, and that's where your energy goes, that'll stop you from fidgeting your hands or doing all this other stuff. So just focus on the breath and just try and put a little bit of weight on your heels because when you lean back and put your weight on your heels, again, your attention is going there, so you're focused a bit more on not falling over because it's a bit more awkward. If you lean back on your heels, you'll fall over if you do too much. So it just makes you focus on the weight on your feet. So if the weight on your feet's even and you're breathing, that is going to make you still, generally speaking. It works for me. And other than that, the one thing that kind of shows like uh, you, that's just not that attractive and women kind of go, eh, is when you're doing the, sl the, the big slouch. And I've seen, and, hey, I used to do this. I'll be honest. I used to slouch a lot. For me, the reason was, and I suspect for a lot of people out there, is because I had a lot of like uh, anger, a lot of heartbreak. You know, I, I really been hurt a lot and I hadn't done the, the healing work on myself, you know, on my heart. So I would actually be protecting my heart by doing this, like physically protecting. And as I opened up and I trusted more and I trusted the universe more and I loved myself more and I did the healing work, eventually so i'm somewhere about here i think fully straight would be like this but you know eh, i'm better and a really quick tip so this isn't good either this is like crappy posture and i'm totally guilty of this as well um so a really good tip is get your whole body up against a wall it actually for 60 seconds it actually straightens your posture and if you if you do it three times a day morning afternoon evening you'll end up something like this and it's just such a healthier posture than than this stuff here right so don't fidget, be still, focus on the breath, have a decent posture, and you're gonna have better body language than most people, and it really doesn't take a big effort. Just focus, be present, and don't be like blah, 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 all over the place. So that's the tip for the week. I've put a couple extra bonus posture tips in a special thingy-majiggy uh, below. It's in the links as usual. Please like the video, share the video, Facebook it to your friends if somebody wants to meet some amazing women and not have a shitty first impression. They'll love the series. They'll thank you for it. You know you wanna share it with them. All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. This has been uh, not just a fun weekend, but I've broken through a lot of barriers that um, I've been working on for a very long time. Uh, three years of approach anxiety was gone in 10 hours, and I, I can't put a price on it. That, that's just going to change my life forever. It really is. Uh, so on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being I'm terrified, and 1 being like, damn, girl, you fan. Where would you put your, your AA note? Uh, definitely a zero. Like, beyond a zero. There's no fear. I don't even think twice about it. It's just, you see something you want, you go after it. That's a job. Whatever happens, happens. I'll never have to wonder what if I had gone up to that girl again. Never. Nice. And you're not going to let that shit come back, are you? Fuck no. Never. Okay.